freedom protests. We got we, we see people from every religion, every uh, skin color. Mm. What, why do you think that is? What, like when you when you went out there and filmed these freedom protests in the COVID years, um, I'd like to think they all subscribe to these values. Lockdowns are actually quite equal in that way. But what got people the most angry was that it was Western Sydney, multicultural, or should I should I say Islamic areas mm. that were the most determined to come out there. Mm. Why, why were there so many different groups? Well, we also got to lead into is that, that why it also broke apart as well is because it was an annealing of so many different people's views and values that then had to work out how do we, Ricardo Bosi, how do we um, in our try and now try and keep these together? Mm. And, and that's why we're seeing this moment is it is multicultural. There has not been the assimilation integration that came together over lockdowns. That one issue that was there and now how do we keep this kind of ragtag group together? Who's going to lead it? Are we going to go and hail Putin in one direction? Uh, is this, is this, how are we going to deal with these multicultural issues? And, and it, that's why it, it struggled, because it's so divided, because there was no dialogue between it. Yeah, and that's, that's what's really helpful. Western Sydney, they came down hard during the lockdowns, you know? Yeah. When they locked up Western Sydney, it was one of the first... Yeah, that's right. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Liv- Liverpool targeted lockdowns. Targeted, yeah. Yeah, because you were the, you were the least compliant in southwestern Sydney. Yeah, and then Bondi where I would go beach. beach. Yep. Had their freedom, and then in Western Sydney, it was you know that was just something ready to erupt. On yeah, the same right. day, I filmed down in Guildford, horses running down the main street. I filmed that, and not six hours later, I was on Bondi Beach filming people. You know, you know the workout boys on the yeah. beach. You were, yeah, rollerblading, how's things? And I think the outbreak started from someone in Bondi coming to Western Sydney. I mean, something ridiculous like that. Mm. Yeah. You know, people, yeah. people forget these things. One of the astonishing things about the um, Sydney response, and again, God forbid you go to a Melbourner and you tell them that we caught it a little bit tough in Sydney. They're like, no, oh, we copped it the worst. And it's like, okay. It's funny, I was in Melbourne during the stage four lockdown. <laughs> oh, you I was too. always in the worst spot during yeah. COVID. Jesus. The worst spot, I was there. I've got to get you out of here very yeah. quickly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, in Sydney, so... It started in Liverpool. We then had the town hall um, event where I ended up speaking at it. And then, and then they, did, they expanded it. They built a strike force for, in the police and then they expanded it to the 12 council areas. And really what ended it, we threw everything at this to try and end it. What ended it was one hot day at the end of the year when you had the Western Sydney suburbs locked down and the Eastern suburbs, everyone was out of the beach even though they were told not to and no one was wearing a mask. That was what ended it, because Brad Hazard, no one was listening yeah. to him as the health minister. And th- it's so funny, we forget these things. Well, it's the power of the people. We don't realise how much power we've got. And they're ter- your government should be terrified of the people. That, mm. That's how it should be. That's how it should be, yeah. yeah. Non-compliance. Yeah. Well, they are. That's why they're so terrified of riots. The worst thing that most governments say could, could happen is public disorder. Mm. And, and, and that's something that surprised me, because speaking of Rotherham, that, that's probably the wor- example of, of worst-case scenario, where you end up with hundreds, thousands of rapes. That's a worst-case scenario, but... It's not. Instead, some broken windows, be it the COVID riots or others. E- even, even what we had with BLM in any country outside the US wasn't, wasn't, wasn't that extreme. But that scene is the worst case scenario compared to the mass rapes that we were seeing, the gang rapes. Yeah, and that's what, I, that's what I'm really concerned about.